I'm going to top coat them all again with Mega Gloss. This nail is the first top coat that it's had. So that'll be fine with one. I'm doing two on the others because we've used the gel polish as the art medium. I just want to smooth this surface out even more. So as I feel, I can feel a slight dip there. Gonna feed a little bit more product into the dip so it's smooth. Same with the thumb. that they can go in and cure. While they're curing, I'm going to make a 3D bow with two loops. It's like a double looped bow. So I've got some um, high speed liquid in here to help it set a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna make a 3D bow now with two loops. So it's gonna have a double loop each side. We're going to get one bead and one at a time, pat it out, make it into a slight point here, and a slight point on the other side. But it's longer than it is deep. If you sort of wet this side here, we can pick this up and flip it over and let that touch. So because this is wet here, we get more contact where it touches, so it'll stick a little bit easier. Just going to add a tiny bit of it just there on that join just to help it stick. Just adding a little bit of a fold by pressing with my brush. A bit, a bit more, so it's a bit more realistic. Same again. So pat it out. Bring both sides into a point. The side, make sure it's long enough, make sure it's thin enough. Again, wet this side here, and then we can flip it over. And gently. Tiny bit of acrylic where they join. This is that it's a little bit of glue. You see, you're using it to adhere so it sticks together nice. And you can start to do a little bit of a 
fold just to get a bit of movement so it's more realistic onto that top loop don't let it flatten off Gonna do that again. So now we're gonna build this. So I'm gonna add a bead of acrylic here in the centre. Take this loop. Place it at an angle where that acrylic is, just so it meets. Just going to take off any excess, and then a little bit of acrylic again here. And we're going to add the other loops. Let it just sit in that acrylic so it's got something to stick to. Pop that off, it's quite set that one is, I think it's one of the first ones we did. Okay, let that just sit in that acrylic there. Now we're going to make a little piece of ribbon that's going to fold over the centre. So you're going to get a bead of acrylic. Make sure you lead out the back of the brush. Pat that. I'm going to bring it into a long sausage and then I'm going to bring it back this way. I'm going to pat it this way and then bring in the sides so you get a thinner part running through the centre and then it's slightly thicker on the outsides. So it's nice and thin here, a little bit thicker there and there. I'm going to lift that off. Put it where you want it. Press it in. So it's still bendy and it's still wet underneath. It'll fold over nicely. Any bit of acrylic there. Of course, I'm a perfectionist and I want it slightly higher that side than it is. And that's your bow done. Now we're going to adhere it to the nail. So now we're going to put this bow on. So we need a little bit of clear acrylic, just shy of the cuticle. We're going to take the bow off, pick it up, place it on top, press it in. And to make it a little bit more wearable, we're going to pop a little bit of acrylic underneath. It's going to secure it onto the nail and make it less chance of it getting caught. We're 
with some of the gel colours. We're just going to do some little dots onto the bow. Some little polka dots. So it flows really nicely with the design. Okay, you can pop them into the lamp. All I'm going to do now is wipe over quickly with a little bit of the gel residue wipe off solution. Just on your little dots, just take off that sticky layer on your polka dots and finish with some cuticle oil, we've got a bit of coconut cuticle oil here replenish any dryness that have been caused by any of the solutions and that's your valentines Love Heart Sweetie Candy design completely finished.